So there are a lot of recreational puzzles that occur throughout history. I now want to start thinking about things thematically. So let's look at some arithmetic um, problems. And I'd like to start with something which will be familiar to several of you. Um, it's sometimes called Russian mul multiplication. But it's also sometimes called Egyptian multiplication. I think it was actually a sort of method that people used to multiply uh, in several different cultures around the world. And this is, of course, serious business if you want to multiply things. But to us, we can think of it as a, as, as a bit of recreational mathematics. How do you multiply two numbers, for example, like 23 and 89? <coughs> what you do is you start with one of them and keep on halving it. And the other one, you keep on doubling it. And let's see what happens. So first of all, let's keep on halving 23, and we'll double 89. So halving 23, I get 11. Actually, I get 11 and a half, but let's forget about the half. Half 11, you get 5. We can ignore the, the, the fraction. 5 gives you 2, 2 gives you 1. Meanwhile, you've been doubling 89 to 178, 356, 712, and 1424. What I then do is I look and see whether there are any even numbers, and I cross them out. I cross out that row. I then add these numbers here, and I get 2047. And that's the correct answer. And that was a method of multiplication that was used in, in several cultures uh, for, for several years. And just to show it works the other way around as well, um, if I want to multiply 89 by 23, I keep on dividing 44, ignore the half, 22, 11, 5, 2, 1. Meanwhile, I keep on doubling 23, 46, 92, and so on. Then I cross out those rows where there's an even number on the left. So I cross out that one, that one, and that one. If I now add the remaining numbers on the right, again, I get 2047. So you might like to think about why this works. Basically, uh, the reason it works can be seen if you put each of these numbers into binary notation. You know, we, we use a scale of 10. If you put things in a scale of 2, then, and you work through, it'll become clear to you uh, why this method works. But it's quite interesting. 